tell the good people who watch this show why the Niners have to play the young guys. And tell and tell Kyle and tell the old guys on this team. If you're an old guy on this team, then then you are a veteran presence. That means you care about the team, you care about its direction. Eventually, you have to pass the torch. That's all I'm going to say to you. When it comes to the coaches, when it comes to, to, to the younger players, if Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, who are definitely in, if they are not on the hot seat, they're on the warm seat. They are definitely embroiled in a little bit of controversy where fans and, and the ownership needs to see results. If you want to be here next year, John Lynch, then you have to show the fan base and the team that, hey, you know how Aaron Banks played really well at the end of the year? Yeah, yeah I drafted him. Yeah. You know how Lenoir turned out to be our lockdown slot corner and now we can let K1 Williams walk and save some money? Yeah, I drafted him. Yeah. You know how we drafted Trey Lance and I, I basically I, I basically sold the future for the next three years in the first round? Yeah, I drafted him. You know all that hope for the future that we displayed at the end of the season? I created that. Exactly. And yeah. it doesn't mean that we have to win the Super Bowl. It doesn't mean we have to go deep into the playoffs or even make them. But if we see that Trey Lance is, oh, yes, yes, this is the kid. This, this guy is the future. Then ownership and the fan base have to objectively say, okay, we made a Super Bowl recently. Fell out the next year. Bitten by the injury bug, whatever. Then the next year came along. We got hit by some injuries. But the draft picks that we got, Lenoir and Banks and Lance and people like that, Sermon, they helped at least make us competitive. And now we can see that next year there will be progress. And next year your draft will be not about filling old needs, but about patching little holes that are on the perimeter of the scope of your future. Rather than a guard, a corner, and a running back are to the 49ers. The guard and the running back is obvious, the run game. We can't run up the middle. Banks should have solved that. But yeah. you know what? We have no young corners. And we don't know if Verrett's going to come back or not. We have no one in the secondary. And Ward and Tart are injured all the time. Yeah. And you're not playing your top secondary draft pick. I would love to see him get torched four games in a row as long as he's growing. This this idea of, of, of patching it with Norman is ludicrous. Yeah. Uh, I'm with you. I, I, I mean, every game the Niners don't get these young guys out there is a waste. I know they're trying to win games, but I'm not, I'm not sure that some of these – journeyman vets who certainly won't be on the team next year give the Niners a better chance to win than some of these rookies. The Not only sure. one that I am okay with is Norman. He does get out after, after the football. He, he he gets some holding calls and things like that. If he's the worst corner we have, that's okay. But what's with Kirkpatrick and, and, and these buster screen, I guess? Was that his name? Yeah. What's with getting these people? How does that help us next year? How does that even help us this year? I still think they're holding on to this idea that they will be in the Super Bowl and that they have to win this year. But that's out the window. Now they can make it as a wild card, perhaps seventh seed or something. Yeah. But they have to they have to get this team going. If they go seven and three over the next 10 games. If they go six and four, I'm not sure they make the wild card. Exactly. And so why not play your draft picks?